Hi, welcome to Jadekind Gaming. I'm Adam. Uh, today we're going to be unboxing the Pathfinder role-playing game Bestiary Box. Um, it's, I think, the first in what ended up really becoming their uh, Pathfinder Pawns series. And, uh, you know, I, I got the, the beginner's box and it had some sort of, some of them in there as sort of a demo or, you know, samples and they were, they impressed me so I went and got this. Um, so let's check it out. And I wanted to point out on the back, it has the list of everything that's going to be inside. And it has, I think, 300 uh, or more than 300 total pawns um, with all, over 250 that are unique from each other. Uh, you'll see like some of them have numbers right beside them there. That's, um, I believe, that's when they're, that's the ones that are duplicates. And, it's got some front art. And I can already tell this is another, this like the beginner's box, sturdy box, good to, I guess, put things back in use for storage as well, which is nice because we got a lot of stuff in here. There's our bases. Yeah, bases of different sizes. I believe... The small and medium both use that same one. Um, that was the same as what's in the other, um, the beginner box. But then we also have two new ones, which are for huge and large, or I forget the exact terms they use. So now we have bases of different sizes. Uh, and let's get them out. Uh, I guess I'll. Some demons, devils, dinosaurs. And we got uh, drow warriors, noble. And okay, we have some young dragons here. And a riding dog. That's nice. I don't actually have the first bestiary from Pathfinder. I uh, I went right to bestiary three because I already had I had a friend that was in the area which had the first bestiary, and uh, he's moved out of town. But uh, I still haven't gotten it, so I don't recognize all the art. But I'm sure a lot of it's pretty much the same as what's in there. Uh, Asmar, angels, archons, with the basilisk. Got some bugbears, and some crabs that are giant. Dugar and a dryad. All right, cool. We got some uh, medium, I guess, sized elementals here. Uh, ghouls. I've had fun in a campaign uh, tormenting one of my players with ghouls and the disease or whatever they pass on, the, the 
gibbering mouthers are disgusting. Got some golems. And harpies. Oh, cool. They have that, um... I think that was like one of the ones with the template in the bestiary. Uh, they have like a pawn for that. Hobgoblin fighters. Wizard folk. I always have fun with those. Oh, I got a player that hates the were rat. It, it grows them out or something. So of course I'll use that. Orc warriors. Uh, and a dire ape. Let's see. Skeletons are useful. Generic baddie and a skeletal champion. Uh, giant spiders. Venomous snake. Vampire sorcerer. Which looks like a sorceress to me. And then a uh, gorilla. Some wolves. Alright, here's ones of different sizes. Assassin Vine. Uh, centaur in full armor. Interesting. Uh, dire Bear. Some more demons of larger sizes. Crocodile. Cyclops. Pit fiend, devil, other demons and devils, and some adult dragons, and some young dragons of different varieties, depending guess, on what size they are. Uh, they do have really pretty art for their dragons. Love that one. That looks so pretty. And of course, you can, you're supposed to think, you know, dragons, pretty, right? That's what they want you to go with. Some bigger elementals, actually, I think. Yeah. Those use, like, those aren't just enlarged art. Those are actually different art, you know. Like, there's the earth and earth, they're different art, air, air. Uh... Fire, fire. Two wires. They have actually different art. That looks cool. That's uh, that's interesting. Didn't have to do that. Another dragon. Gelatinous cube. And some giants. Those are useful. Celestial Unicorn. That's cool. It's another one of the ones that was the template in the book. Um, some more giants. And also the Half Fiend Minotaur was one of the templates in the book. A horse. Uh, it's gonna need that. Minotaur. Nightmare. Never got the Nagas. They, they, they just don't seem like normal enemies to me. That's a fierce looking lion. Some ogres. An ogre mage. It's your standard everyday Pegasus as opposed to the 
past the last year one before. Shark. That's fun. A woolly rhinoceros. Troll. Dire tiger. Yeti. That's fun. The unicorn. Oh, getting some bigger things. Some black pudding. Got you know, lantern archon, bat swarms, um, dark creepers, cockatrice, warg. The race. It's like we got uh, some more. I'm t that's another one. We got get pulled out. Specifically, these ones. The small elemental has different art from either of the other ones. That is cool. They have like unique art for each of the elementals. We got uh, four goblins, which I think um, I think I had some more in the beginner's box, which is good because I usually use those in larger numbers. And um, and I noticed here, like on each creature has a number by beside it, and when there's multiples like the goblins, each number is a different color, which is useful for telling them apart when you're you know counting what's take had damage. Um, Got some ancient dragons here. Some kobolds. We got uh, some smaller demons. An imp. Devil. Uh, eagle. More little elementals. More adult dragons. Giants, Mephits, Pixie, and, uh, Dire Rats, a Zombie, a Hydra, Retriever, which is a giant spider, because it's spider swarms. Couple more zombies. Willow Wisp. Giant Squid. Trent. Uh, Treant. Or Ent, if you've seen Lord of the Rings. Or Red Lord of the Rings. And a slug that's crushing a building. There's a bunch of sheet of sheets of ponds. And yeah. So I uh, I counted them up, and we have five of the bases for the large ponds, ten for the huge ponds, and then twenty for what's medium and small both. That's how many bases are included in it to use, I guess, for miniatures to use at the same time. And, of course, the small ones um, were the only ones in the uh, beginner box, which also had some huge. So, you I mean, it'll support a larger miniature. It just doesn't take up the space on the mat. Um, so, you know, I have here the different sizes. I have the... These three are water elementals, and then I got the big plant here because there wasn't a large... Water on But, um... But, yeah. They're... I mean, they're good quality, sturdy quality cardboard. Just like what was in the, the beginner's box where I found, uh... You know, the test. Um, their names do kind of get covered up when you actually put them in there. You know, they have the name on the bottom. 
and uh, and it does sort of pinch it. I mean, there's I wouldn't call it damage, but there's little yeah, you know, it's what holds it in. There's little I guess ridges to hold it in when you put it in here. Um, yeah, they're good quality. They're sturdy. You know, now I now I've got to add a bunch more monsters to my game, and I guess unless my friend you know so, you know comes back into town anytime soon, get a uh, get the first bestiary. Third one's not good enough to for these. Few of these are in there, uh, if at all. But um, but yeah, I'll put a link to to the box so you can get it online, or as always, you know, support your local hobby shop if you got one around you. You know, they're the lifeblood of the industry. They're how I got into it. So, you know, always good to support those. Um, you know, but check it out if you, you know if you want an alternative to miniatures, which you either buy and paint or buy pre-painted or whatever, or just just to expand what you have. Um, if you need more variety really quick, this was a simple way to do it. Um, yeah, have a great day.